Hey, what's up SaaS Masters? My name is George and today we're going to check out Ubenda. Ubenda lets you stay compliant with your sites. I'm talking about privacy policy, terms and condition, um, GDPR, uh, CCPA, and uh, there's another one. But yeah, it lets you stay legally compliant on your sites. And it's pretty interesting because when you embed this on your site, you have the terms and conditions, your privacy policy and all that. But if, for example, if Europe, they change the law or they add something to it, well, it automatically updates on your site because it's embedded from the Ubenda uh, system. So that's pretty cool. So in this video, we are going to review Ubenda and we're going to talk about the good stuff and the bad stuff about the deal that's going on right now, which is a lifetime deal. And I'm going to show you what the process is to create one of the privacy policies and show you around the options. So let's jump over to the deal and then to the dashboard. So let's head on over there. All right, so the Ubenda deal is this right here. It's $59 for a lifetime deal, and I think it's pretty good, but there's something that you have to consider with this. So let's jump over to the plans right here. And the Ubenda code says you're on the Ultra plan when you buy this, so they have a Pro and the Ultra plan, but there's a little trick there that I really don't, don't like about them. So for example, you get five licenses. Five licenses means that, for example, if you create a privacy policy and you create it in two languages, well, that is two licenses that you're using. And when you are using two languages or more licenses inside of that one site, it brings down your account to pro instead of being the ultra. So that's something I really don't like. And um, if you honestly ask me, that's not legally right because they're offering you the ultra pan and why do they jump down the plan to pro if you're using two licenses? And I'll show you that in this video, right? So I'll show you what happens. So that's something I don't like. So you get access to privacy policy and cookie co privacy and cookie policy. Cookie solution, 5,000 total page views per month where the GDPR and CCPA apply. So if those are viewed, they count to that with those sound counts right here. So it's not a lot. Well, it is a lot. I mean, not many sites get 50,000 views, so that's all right. And you get access to the terms and conditions. If you need more views and more licenses, you jump to the double codes. And if you need more, you, go, you jump to three codes which gives you the access to internal privacy poly policy management, privacy management, and up to 10,000 entries per month and optional add-ons that you have to buy. So they, they only have the options to buy with the multiple codes of three, okay? So let's jump over to the dashboard right here. And this is the Ubenda dashboard. And to get started, it's actually pretty easy. So let me refresh this because it says five out of five used. I just deleted a site, okay. Just delete a site, zero out of five licenses used, no page views because, well, I haven't added this. Let's start generating one. And it's pretty cool how the setup goes. It's not easy like uh, like one, two, three, four. It's kind of like take your time, do it right, and you have the right privacy policy or cookies, cookie consent, whatever you're adding, right? So do the things right, take your time and build it. And once you build it, it's a set and forget. So that's pretty cool. So we have the option for website, mobile app, and Facebook app. Um, if we add the website and then we add the mobile app, that's a second license. So that's two licenses if I add a second one. So in this case, I'll add my site, which is sasmaster.net, and the language is English. Let's start generating this. And we can start building our privacy policy, privacy and cookie policy, cookie solution, terms and conditions, and the consent solution is only available on the three codes, so I have to activate it or pay for it. Now, before we head on into the privacy and cookie policy, let me show you the dashboard again. So let me open the dashboard on the right, and let me show you what happens. All right, so it says zero out of five. Let me refresh that. No, let me add the, the privacy policy first. Let's generate one really quickly, because I wanna show you what happens, how it brings down the account to pro. So, Let's refresh it. And that's something I really don't like. Let me refresh over here. Let's see if that's updated. Okay, so one out of five licenses added. And let me see if I open it up again. Okay, so it says Pro instead of Ultra. Um, not sure why it does that, but it should be the Ultra plan. There's only one license added, one single site, and that's something we have to see, right? So. All right, let's continue to show you how it works because that might not be a concern for you because you bought more licenses and right now I'm just on one code. So what happens? I have to add the services right here because it's gonna depend what I have on my site that I'm gonna add over there. So I can scan my website and auto detect the services I have so I can add them. And let me show you how that email looks. 
So I did a scan before and it tells me here are other services that you should probably add. So Google Analytics, Google Fonts, Google Tag Manager, and these are other functions that I should probably add. So it's like, like optional. So how does this work? Well, let's just say Google, right? I know I'm using Google. I can add the analytics right here. And all this is going to be added in different policies inside of that policy that we're adding. So let's add right here. So United States, do I want to add the cookie time right here? We'll keep it to not specified. Save changes. Um, maybe I'm doing some third party accounts. Maybe Google Drive, some advertising. Uh, maybe I'm using AdSense. So I'll add that right there. What am I adding for Google also? Now, depending on the ones you have, there's a lot of options. Um, for example, let me show you Facebook. Facebook, audience network, is it this one? So on Facebook, no, only one. Um, one of them has like a bunch of options there, but you get the idea. I, it drops down and some say like log into Facebook, um, your birthday and all of those, you can add those. So let's save that and close. All right, so if we added those services right there. Let's just say that's what we needed. We're good to go. We can preview it right here. So full view. And this is how it would view. Um, this is like taking space there, but we actually want to view it. But if I click next, it's going to open up the whole view there. But they should remove this little box so it doesn't... If I click next, it, it removes it and I can't view it. Um, guys, fix that. Um, do I want to apply the GPR, GDPR's uh, broad protection standard to Europe only or all users? So I guess depending if they are logging in from Europe, it will show it. And if it's not, it will just keep it clean. Um, keep it all for users, all users is good. Enable CCPA, so it's disabled, let's enable that. Um, LGPD for Brazil, let's enable it, no harm done. And we can add more languages right here. So let me show you, we'll keep it without the language, but I will add it later. Okay, activate the cookie policy. All right, um, use so-called technical cookies, so on and so forth, yeah, let's keep it safe, changed. Let's wait for that to update. All right, let's go next. And we're here, so we can add the information. Copy name, so let's just say SAS Master, and the address is, we'll just say Mexico for now. The email, we'll keep it the same as this one. We'll go to next. And this is how it's going to view, right? So we got the advertising, the analytics, and the contact information. Go next. All right, do we want to set up more things? For now, let's go to the embedding instructions. So now we have our privacy policy. Now, right now it was really simple, but you should add all the services that you have on your site. So we have different styles. So we can add a widget to the footer. So it, this is a little widget, these little buttons right here. We can use a direct link. So just take them to a link. Maybe you want to create that in the menu or the bottom footer with a link. Or we can embed the text on a page. And we're going to copy this body right here. So this one is a privacy policy and the bottom is the cookie policy. We'll just grab this one for now. Go to WordPress side, add here on HTML. Let's preview this baby right here and show you how that's going to look. So remember, we're embedding from Ubenda. If something changes over there, like a, a law or anything, it will update here because it's embedded. And here it is. We have the privacy policy right here. All the information that we just added is right here. Detailed information, advertising, the rights of users, cookie policy. Wow, it's pretty long, but yeah, everything's there that you might need to have to be compliant. Even the, right, even Brazil one is right here. So that's pretty cool to have. Um, again, this site, you obviously, you have to style it, look at nice. We'll remove that sidebar and all that good stuff, right? But this is just for testing purposes. Okay, let's refresh over here on the dashboard, see what happened with the plan status. Refresh that. Again, one out of five licenses, we're good, and it's on the pro plan, which shouldn't be there. Um, what happens if I want to add a terms and conditions? Let's generate a terms and conditions. Document has been added, okay. Now, one of the things that I found out with my testing before this is that if I added that second language to the privacy policy, I couldn't create a terms and condition. So something there with the licenses that needs to be cleared up. Why does it jump to pro and not stay on ultra? And why does it grab more licenses? Okay, so this one is for the terms and conditions. And again, we can add some clauses right here. And 
it's a little bit different, the sections, because it'll add it automatically. So for example, am I targeting audiences? Yes. All right. Content rights, we can customize it. Am I doing an account registration? If this is a group or something like that, or they are registering for buying something, well, yes, I want to see that. Sign up is optional. Sign up is required. So I set what option I want. I can apply the changes. And now it's added it to the terms. So it's, it's a pretty cool system. Is this a business model, a payment and user rights? So yes, I want to add that also. All right, based on third-party scenario, marketplaces, third-party scenarios, and what are you selling? Goods, uh, default, blah, blah, blah. You check this with Calm, right? Check what you want, advanced options. There's a lot of options right here to really, really stay compliant with terms. Like I said, maybe you could just copy terms and conditions from somewhere else, but they are not fitted for what you actually do. It's, it's good for them, but not for you. And if you like all the settings that you set right here, like I said, take your time, do it right, set and forget. Let's apply that one. Okay, and it activated now. So the business model is activated and you can update other ones that you might need right here. Age restrictions, APIs, mobile apps, so on and so forth, remove, customize. And if we're good, we just save it and close. And I don't know if we get more options, but we should get the option also to embed it on our site. So we create that terms and condition page or that little button that you might want. So there we go, it's added it. Advanced settings, update document dates, apply applications, uh, many things. We can preview it right here, see how it's going to look. And there we go. This is how the terms look. And it's pretty long because it's actually doing everything that we need for our site. So it's not like a simple one that I grab somewhere else and I put it here. It's actually fitted to your site. That's the good part about Ubenda. That's what I like. Custom clauses, owner and service information. So it grabbed that from the one we already did. We can specify service description if we want. Let's go to dashboard again. And see what happened there. Um, that's what I told you. They need to clear up what's going on. Remember, I added the privacy policy and the terms and conditions, right? I didn't add languages. So that means in theory, that should have been two licenses, but it jumped to five out of five and it brought it up to ultra plan instead of staying on the pro. It was pro before and it should be ultra. I know I might be sounding a little bit like redundant, but you kind of get the point that something weird is going on and how they are managing these licenses and the plan that you're on. But for me, uh, my legal knowledge, uh, it might be a little or a lot. If you are selling me the ultra plan, how it's stated here on AppSumo, ultra plan, why are you bringing me down to pro and then to ultra? So that's kind of weird. So it's kind of taking, oh, I'll refresh this one. It's kind of taking five licenses for one site to convert to ultra. So if I have 15 site, 50 licenses, that means three sites on ultra or 15 sites on just like using privacy policy and so on and so forth. It's, it's kind of weird that they shouldn't do that. Um, if I wanted to start to generate another one, well, I can't add another site because it already took five out of five sites to convert it to ultra. Um, let me show you what happens again. Let's go to manage services. I'm using privacy policy. We can view, edit, and embed. Again, terms and condition, view, edit, and embed. If I wanted to generate this, will it let me? Okay, it will let me because I'm in the ultra plan for this single site. And the consent, I don't have access because I don't have the three codes. Internal privacy management, also I need to activate it unless I'm in the three codes plan, Oops, my bad. All right, let me just try to do a little quick test here. What happens if I wanna start generating a new site? See what happens. Um, I'll just say test.com, start generating. Will it let me or not? So let's generate that. Okay, there, it's asking me to purchase. So yes, like I said before, if, you, if it stays on the ultra plan, then it stays with five licenses. Now, let me do another test. Let me add a language to this one right here that we already made. So let's manage, let me delete this. I don't want to have any complications there. Manage, five out of five licenses. Let me go here to edit on the privacy and cookie policy. And let's go add a language right here. Let me add that. And let's say my primary language is, oh, 
so it can we have to upgrade now so that's something I dislike so the test I made before is I added a privacy policy and then I added the language it did let me but it converted my account to pro instead of ultra so that way I could add two languages but then I couldn't add a terms and conditions because I was in the pro plan and not on the ultra so in my theory I would think that one license is I add the privacy policy a second license would be if I add Spanish that's cool right a third license would be if I use the terms and conditions and the other one like another if I want to add another site with just one language and privacy policy should be another site and another term and condition for that other site should be another license but it's not it's it's complex and they're it's not right how they're doing it I might not be getting it right but like I said before it should stay on the ultra plan so at the end of the day I do like the the system it's cool it's it helps me out because at the end of the day I'm not an international lawyer to see what laws are going on in Europe and Brazil um, California and just worldwide and in this case it helps me and I stay compliant with my sites by having the Ubenda embedded on my site so that's the good part and the bad part is the way they are managing the licenses so just consider that that one code might not be enough or consider that one code is just one single site and if that's what you need then that's cool but if you need more sites then you need to jump to more and the way they're using is like five sites to convert to ultra but there you go guys that is my video I hope it helped you out and if you consider buying this deal do use my link in my description because it helps me out with a small commission to buy these deals and help you decide if it's a good product or not for you well thank you for watching my name is George and I'll see you guys later